What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for a whole bunch of pickups? This is TLC. We got a whole lot of stuff, so we've got to get into it. Hey, do you nerd? This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, hops, Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lacey collecting right now. Holy cow, we found a lot of stuff. Let's jump right into it. it. Tom and Lacey weekend. collecting. Yes. All right, I found some weird stuff at the thrift shop, like a tiger <laughs> quiz whiz. It's got the booklet, uh, general knowledge, questions, and score sheet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even think I saw you pick that up. The question is, when it comes to stuff like this, like, is this a video game? Does it fall into a game thing? I because think it's, it's like a handheld. <laughs> like the handheld, like, you know, like the solitaire stuff. Oh, it's got a cartridge. Yeah, so mm, it's, never mind. that's curious. Comes with a cartridge. Oh. You got a quiz, Wiz, to be a wise guy. Something for uh, you, Captain Algebra, Math Shark. So when your kids answer the wrong question, you throw it at them like a boomerang. Uh, it hits them, yeah. then it comes right back, and then you tell them the right answer. That that seems legit. You may have found a bat. Damn it. Stop throwing batarangs. I'm seriously, though, I know nothing about this. Either that or it's a shark's fin. It was just kind oh. of a... Uh, <laughs> kind of a, an impulse buy. It was cheap enough, and why it, not? It's not uncomfortable. And it made me think of Cam. <laughs> you want to go for eclectic? What is this? It's a jaguar with wings. <laughs> I feel like Napoleon Dynamite created this thing. <laughs> I know. It's a liger. What's a liger? It's pretty much my favorite animal. It's like a lion and a tiger mixed. Redford's skills and magic. Hmm. I know it's from a Disney movie. Um, Future Tom will put in the name of the Disney movie because the name is escaping me at the moment. I know it was a TV show and the Disney movie, but I don't know. There was just something about it that just looked really cool. I just really liked it. And yeah. so I bought it because I have a lot of toys that might want to ride a flying jaguar. <laughs> Yeah, you do have quite the uh, the random toy collection, and, and it is cool. His wings are really neat. I he like has, that. He is neat. And then to go along with it, I found like a, a King Louie lookalike. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I just thought he was adorable. I feel like the only thing you like more than just toys and action figures are plushies. Here. See? He's the king of the jungle. <laughs> That's a weird jungle. <laughs> What else did you find? Actually, I found some games. Uh, this nothing, time we found some games. Yeah, nothing special, but it was complete personal trainer cooking. Now, DS games like this, I think it's fun, the novelty of them, you know, because it's it's seriously teaching you how to cook. It's not even a game. I like the idea, but I don't like the idea because cooking can get messy and greasy, and I really don't want to touch my DS when I've got food all over my hands from trying to cook. <laughs> I found Disney Atlantis The Lost Empire on PS1. A movie most people forget about. The disc isn't super pretty, but that could go either way with a PS1 game. Sometimes you had those discs that were super rough, but they played like a charm. Other ones, you had an eyelash on it and it never played again. <laughs> Another Nintendo DS game, this one's Touch Master. That seems like it needs to be visited by Chris Hansen or something. Whoa. <laughs> Show us on the game where he touched you. <laughs> Tell you what, Touch Master, why don't you have a seat right over there? For the Wii, Just Dance three and four so you know just dance something that i probably actually will play though is the namco museum oh look remix. how much fun pac-man's having and oh go yeah -kart, was that a go-kart is he riding on and he's a knight it says it brings a new twist on some of the most beloved arcade titles so basically you're trying games like galaga but it's got like pac-man here there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on Oh, 
So basically, Pac-Man broke into everybody's game. Uh, probably. The guy <laughs> needs some money, so he's like, these are my games now. <laughs> waka waka. Oh. I got Rock Band, <laughs> the original, on PS2. Now we just need some instruments. I think we got that covered. <laughs> and this one I actually picked up kind of for you. So, Fantastic oh, Pets. Look, they're flying pets! There's a dragon. There's a dragon and a Pegasus. And is that a cata flying catacorn? He's got a unicorn horn on. Oh my gosh. And this is one of the Connect games. Oh my so, gosh, that's so cute. Another title added to that little subset. Hey, I wonder if my flying leopard's in here. <laughs> this is cute. This is mine. Yeah, that's why I got it. It was for you. Yay. Well, I got something game related. Okay. I got me, I think this is a plug and play. I didn't point it at you. So I'm pretty sure this is a plug and play from Duck Commander. Duck Commander, because you know, you can't use Duck Hunt. It's like someone owns that name. <laughs> so I'm actually looking forward to plugging this in and seeing what kind of game is on here. But you know, you got a nice little shotgun. <laughs> pew! Actually, they don't go pew, do they? They go boom! Because they're shotgun! They go big boom! Boom, yeah. I understand boom. By the big boom. Well, I got something not quite so game related. This is a bit more practical, but yet still nerdy. <laughs> so these are just some three really lightweight plastic shelves. They just kind of, you know, hang up. Um, I have some geeky tikis that I have that are um, go cup geeky tikis. So they're plastic. They're no. plastic as well. And I've been trying to find some shelves that'll fit on the side of our cabinets so that I can display my to-go cup geeky tikis, and these will be perfect for it. So it's displaying nerdy items, but it's still a practical item. See, there you go. Yes. I got a uh, Super Mario display box. We found it at Target. You know, it never hurts to ask, hey, you know, this yeah. display box is empty. Do you care if I take it home? Most of the time, they just look at you like you're insane because you want to take trash to your home. <laughs> so I did. Yes, I love trash. I got a light. <laughs> it's, it's a clip-on, but you never know when you can use some extra light, maybe to light up, you know, your set pieces or just around the house or whatever, but it goes off of battery or plug-in. I don't know. Just looked cool. You find weird stuff. I do find weird stuff. I'm weird. Did you find anything weird? Well, you don't get much weirder than Howard the Duck. The first Marvel comic book movie. Yeah, and you know, we have it on DVD or Blu-ray or something. Something like but that. But I saw this and it was super cheap and I'm like, why not? Because, you know, that duck totally hit Marty's mom. Oh yeah, and she liked it too. You could tell. Peking duck. <laughs> I got something that I thought was super duper cute. Love BB-8, love Disney stuff. So they made I think he lends himself very well to a Mickey actually, Mouse hat. Actually, he really, really does. So, That's and a very good this game. is actually from the parks. So someone bought it and I guess didn't want it anymore and put, turned it into Goodwill, but <laughs> mine now. Yeah, so much for those memories. Aww. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I did not mean to upset you. We picked up Happy Death Day. It's basically, if you've never watched it, think Groundhog Day meets horror movie because the girl keeps getting killed over and over and over again. And just like in Groundhog's Day, she starts to have fun with it. I found me a movie too. A Goosebumps! TLC, it's Goosebumps. But you know what? <laughs> I'm going to overdo it. Oh no. Because look. Oh. Look at all those goosebumps I found. Return to Ghost Camp, The Haunted Mask, The Haunted, The Wanted, The Haunted Mask, Slappy World, The Ghost of Slappy, Slappy World, Escape from Shutter Mansion. So boom. Good grief, R. I had a, Stein. I know, Take I had break. the mother load. You try living in a book for a while. Did you find any books? I did find a book. And McCaffrey, The Chronicles of Pern, First Fall. The Pern books, it's part of a series, a fantasy saying, thinking series. I you're saying something wrong by saying the Pern books. Like you're saying Fern wrong or something. I do not believe <laughs> that I ever read this one. I read some of the uh, the earlier ones way back in the day. Our school library had some. And anything that was fantasy, I was all over so that. space with dragons. <laughs> space suits and dragons. 
<laughs> I found some more books, and these are a little kind of interesting books. Okay. These I consider knockoffs. What does that look like to you? Well, based on the, let's see, the artwork, the placement of the author's name, the font for Shivers, uh, Goosebumps, anybody? Yeah, so that's what I saw. When I found these at Goodwill, I was like, okay, first of all, it's M.D. Spencer. So we've already got R.L. Stein. <laughs> goosebumps, what else do you call Goosebumps? The Shivers. Basically, everything about that is so copied. <laughs> I have never heard of Shivers. I have never, obviously, since I've never heard of him, I've never read it. But I don't know. I found the first 10. So I got them just because of what they look like. Shivers Roll Call. The Enchanted Attic. A Ghastly Shade of Green. Ghost Writer. The Animal Rebellion. The Locked Room. The Haunting House. The Awful Apple Orchard. Terror on Troll Mountain, The Mystic's Spell, and The Curse of the New Kid. Well, I did get two more books, a couple of uh, Skylanders books, Giants and Trap Team. And again, they were super cheap, uh, in pretty good condition. I'd never seen these before. And when you flip through them, it's just kind of going over the characters and everything, which is still kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You have that stat sheet, you know, their starting stats, their personality file. You've got these great colored pictures of the characters and it's showing off their moves and everything. It's pretty cool, pretty stuff useful. Stuff like that, just fun companion piece stuff. Well, I got something practical for filming's sake. It's a nice fold-up um, music stand and everything. And I got this because sometimes, you know, you want to put up a, like, storyboard or something. And, and rather than trying to balance it on something, you can use, you know, a music stand. Because, like I said, it folds up really, really well. And just fits nicely into that little carrying case. And, you know, you can take it with you on the road, do whatever. So it's just, you know, a nice practical thing. Once again, check out your thrift stores for filming help. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times you can find a lot of good stuff at these thrift stores, tripods, you know, stands, sometimes even lighting, yes. everything. So, you know, you can always find some good stuff there. I picked up another VCR because this was one of the VCR DVD combos. It's kind of handy to have an extra VCR, those yeah. things, I don't know. They're, they're those heads didn't times. last very long. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we will give this a test to see if it's good to go. I also actually found a Wii Pro Controller those for nice. uh, six dollars, but I think electronics were on sale the day we were picking these up, so it made it even cheaper. Yeah, everything was half price. <laughs> I love the feeling of the Wii Pro Controller. It has a great feel. I love the grips and everything. I might just kind of keep this in our collection. I like just having extra controllers extra. around just because you never know when the wires are going to go out or the electronics are going to go out. And as far as randomness, I found a Super Mario World Koopa Stone Age Quest. So it's just got a couple of episodes from the Super Mario World cartoon, which I think we have the full set. I think we have set, the full set, yeah. But it's always fun know. to come across these yeah, in the wild. Finding a little single one. You got to move fast. Well, speaking of weird randomness, I found me something that I've actually been looking for for quite a while, thanks to Tony of Back in the Day Gamer, because I see it in the background of his videos all the time. It makes me super jealous, and I don't know why, because it's a plastic chocolate bunny rabbit although that one's nowhere near the size of his. no his is huge but there's something about it that just looks so cool it's a chocolate bunny but it's plastic but he doesn't just put it up for easter he has it up all the damn time <laughs> so i don't know i just thought it was funny and cute and i mean it seriously looks like chocolate i really think they did it i mean don't you think i wouldn't hand that off to me unless you want a bite <laughs> taken out of it so now i have a tiny tony oh wait he is tiny after a party, let's go get some tacos. Woo! Something kind of neat I found at a yard sale were these uh, little plexiglass cases and they have a little handle on the top. They open up, decent size, they're hinged and all that jazz. Uh, nice transparency to them, mm -hmm. so they're perfect for display things, but I don't know what to display in them. So if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know. I mean, it would go great for, uh, you know, like magazines or books or something, but I don't know where to put them after that. 
the person that we bought these from at a yard sale, they had a candy shop and mm -hmm. that's what they kept the candies in. And I got these, uh, I think it was like seven for a buck each. Yeah. And I was fine with that. Don't know what I'll use them for, but I think it'll, it'll come to me eventually. <laughs> this cart, this is where you speak up, buddy. I think the last thing that we found would be from the comic book shop we visited. Yes, yes, we uh, we actually have a comic book shop that is occasionally open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found me a, another Gwenpool that I was missing. I'm almost complete on my Gwenpool. And then they were having a sale on their trade paperback, so I picked me up Queen Sonia. Yeah, that's going to be cool. That'll be yep. a fun read. Mm -hmm. Really like the cover of this one, too. And I just grabbed some random stuff. I got the uh, Spider Boy. Now this is when the Amalgam comics were out, the crossover of DC and Marvel. First they were battling, but then they were like combined. So this it is- makes me think of that. Don't call me Superboy. Uh, exactly. I was gonna say, <laughs> this is a cross between Spider-Man and don't call me Superboy, Superboy. Superboy. He goes, don't call me Superboy. I'm the Metropolis kid. And then I got this for a really good price. Uh, it says special edition. It's the very first adventure of the new X-Men. And I was trying to figure out, was that the first issue comic with the new X-Men? I mean, it was cheap enough because all the comics were half price. Yeah, they price. were half price, yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll pick it up just in case. Why not? And then the last thing that I picked up got me some dorbs because they're totes dorbs. Especially these. I know. So we got some Shaun of the Dead dorbs. So look at little Sean. He's adorable. He's got his little name tag on, his tie. He's got his, uh, what is that, a cricket, cricket bat. bat. And uh, you got some red on you. Yep, right there on the pocket, a little bit of that red. And we got cute little Ed here who he's uh, got wood. And he's got his little shovel there. They're all smiling because they're, you know, going to go bash some zombies' heads into Queen. And I, I don't know, I just love the door. I mean, they truly are dorbs. They're totes they of dorbs. They really are. And of course, we love the movie Shaun of the Dead, so oh, yeah. this was a great piece to add to our collection. I believe Shaun of the Dead is the first movie you ever bought me. I think when so. We were I think you're right. Mm -hmm. You said, I think you're really going to like this movie, so you bought it and then had me watch it with you, and he and was I'm, right. I lucked out that she did. I love that movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shaun. Oh no, Ed, it's not your fault. It's okay. It's all right. No, I'm sorry, Sean. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's awful, man. It's awful. You gotta stop that. <laughs> I'll stop when you stop laughing. I'm not laughing. <laughs> Let me put that down before I bludgeon myself. <laughs> that's that's old tech. It'll kill you. It will. Um, <laughs> so as you see, a little bit of everything all across the board: books, movies, games, toys, collectibles, comics. practical stuff, comics. Oh yeah, yeah, we got it all. We got it all. So please leave some comments down below on what you think of any of these especially if you have any ideas for these cases or if you are a Shivers fan. Yeah, let me know. Was it a good series? How long did it go on for? <laughs> Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Do you know what's coming next? I don't know what's coming we next. We don't know what's coming next. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it. ...for just about everything. Like sh math sharks. Damn it. Damn it. Fractions. Division. Algebraic equations and all the other... Pop rubber. quiz, oh. hot shot! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. There's a bomb in the bus. What do you do? <laughs> Called Jeff Daniels. It's not like he's dumb or dumber. 
he blowed up. I think that is one of my favorite scenes though with them bashing people to queen. Pew 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 Okay, now we gotta charge these babies up. Wait, what? Are you recording me pewing? I'm recording you doing that too. Well, this is off now, so. 